Tunggu What's up YouTube? Sabloji here. Welcome back to another Rush Reaction video. Today we will be listening to Subdivisions. So a little bit of background information on this song before we get started. Subdivisions was the second single from the album Signals. And as far as the song is concerned, the lyrics and stuff like that, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with this song, but for those of you that aren't and want to know a little bit more about it, the song is a commentary on the social stratification through the pressure to adopt certain lifestyles. It describes young people dealing with a cool culture amidst a comfortable yet oppressively mundane suburban existence in housing subdivisions. Anyone who does not obey social expectations is regarded as an outcast. The lyrics flatly describe a choice of confirm, conform or be cast out. Subdivision was one of five Rush songs inducted into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame in 2010. So that's a pretty substantial achievement in itself. I mean, basically overall, the, the reception of the song is pretty highly regarded. It basically ranks top 10 in whatever publication you want to look at. So it's a really popular song as far as Rush is concerned. And basically, progressive rock as a whole. This also is labeled as synth rock and new wave. And it's 5 minutes and 34 seconds, so it's decently long, you guys. Really excited for this. Hope you are too. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Per usual, we will have to lower the opacity, but the good thing is I've made the screen bigger so we can see everything a little bit easier, as you can see. So let's go ahead and get into this. Super excited. Always really, really fun to listen to Rush. Really excites me. I'm not going to lie. Rush r just gets me going. <laughs> and we are going to listen to this now. Hope you guys are excited. Here we go. I am. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What a good tempo. I'm about to freak out at this part. I already know that. So before that happens, the whole video kind of reminds me of like a Black Mirror episode. You're like stuck in this, like they said, mon mundane suburban lifestyle. Nothing's exciting. You're just stuck in like this endless loop. And they're, they're doing a pretty good job at portraying that as well. And there's pictures of the hallway. This kid's just 
seems like he's stuck in this endless cycle of just, you know, wake up, school, back to the house. <laughs> just, <laughs> just the, the, yeah, the passing of the houses and they just, they all looked the same. Man. Um, yeah. The keyboard is very, very uh, strong in this song as well. And something about Rush, whenever I'm listening, like obviously the guitar is so insane, but I feel like the bass is just as good. It just comes through so well with their songs. I don't know if they did that on purpose or not. Like normally, you know, you have to pay attention when you're listening to a song to try and, you know, catch the bass. With Rush, it's just like right there, just alongside the guitar, and they're just constantly like going back and forth with each other, I feel like, or complimenting each other at the same time. And that's one of the things that I immediately noticed about Rush when I first listened to him was like, wow. The emphasize the 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 instruments are very emphasized. Um obviously the guitar is really always gonna stand out, but everything else is just like to the forefront as well. And it all just blends so perfectly together, like the drums, the um, the guitar, the bass, and the keyboard. They do a really good job at giving you everything so well together, if that kind of makes any sense at all. I, sometimes I just feel like I'm rambling, but uh, I'm trying to describe stuff the best that I can. So let's go ahead and start this back up. The tempos. be cast out subdivisions <laughs> um another thing that i i'd like to point out getty always has amazing pronunciation and emphasizes the words very well so it's hard to miss anything very easily able to pick up on whatever he's saying the lyrics aren't hard to understand that's another thing that i really enjoy i don't have to immediately look up the lyrics to get every little detail because I can hear most of it basically perfect. So cool.
Timeless. Like, stuff like this, I don't think will, it just, it will never get old. Subdivisions. It's a theme that could just go on forever. Because it's always, a, the theme is relevant to this day. Um, the music video was cool. But that's not really the main focus for me. Like, I could have even done without the music video. Just the music and the theme and the lyrics were enough for me but the visuals do add to the song don't get me wrong um just the whole vibe is so so crazy to me like i typically would find myself listening to sounds like this on like um like a youtube radio not knowing like the inspiration or the genre attached to it and now that i'm listening to these classic rock and progressive rock um, bands and stuff like that i can see where the sounds are derived from and the type of music that is inspired from these radio s stations that i would listen to on youtube not even like a few months ago there's plenty of radio stations on YouTube that are just live constantly, that are just playing music. And I would just listen to um, synth wave and just stuff like that. And like this is that at its core. This is where all these songs and sounds and music is inspired from. And I didn't have a damn clue until I started this YouTube channel. So I'm really grateful for that. And um, this just song is just so good. <sighs> yeah, I mean, wow. Just everything about it is so beautifully constructed. It's a story. It's a song. It's a feeling. It's a vibe. Such a cool just driving cruising down the street song as well i favor this song a lot just like i favor every single rush song i've listened to so far i haven't seen one that i'm not even sure about yet i don't know if that'll even ever come like i'm so turned on to the genre of rush i don't think i'm gonna dislike a single song it's just the music that they create is already what i've have been listening to for years just not knowing what like i said what it was in its core or in its um when it was born you know so yeah kind of rambled on a little bit long here but hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did maybe consider subscribing down below leave a like on the video as well and comment down below what you think about subdivisions hope you enjoyed that reaction slash review and um i had a lot of fun with this one and i think that will be the case for every song we listen to going forward with rush and that's quite amazing so hope to see you guys in the next one until then hope you have a great weekend also until then um rock on I always try and come up with a creative uh, outro, and it's just like always like I can't. Uh, I'm just going to tell them to have a good day, and I'll see them in the next one. <laughs> it's usually what happens, but anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.